Welcome to Overcoming Daily Channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell icon and click on the option all notifications so that you never miss out on any of our video uploads. May God Almighty bless you and increase the work of your hands in Jesus name. Believers hear me, God gave the Holy Ghost not as a burden to the church. The Holy Spirit was given as an extension of the hand, the power, the ministry of Jesus to the saints. It was in John 16, Jesus began to speak and he said, I have many things to tell you, but ye cannot bear them now. And then he says, how be it when he, the spirit of truth is come, he said, he will guide you into all truth. Hallelujah. And then that the Holy Spirit has the assignment of number one revealing Jesus to the saints and then number two empowering the saints to become reflections of the power the grace the wisdom the glory that is upon the Son and upon the Father please you have to understand this the ministry of the Holy Spirit is not a Pentecostal phenomenon yes here and there there might be imbalances here but the truth about it is that it will take the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not an option that whoever desires to walk in the fullness of the expression of the glory of God must place premium on the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The Bible calls it the fellowship, the communion, the participation, the sharing together. Hallelujah. That's where the word koinonia comes from. Intimacy intimacy a depth of sharing like a salt covenant it was a practice in ancient times that when they wanted to show the level of connection and covenant that one had with another maybe a husband and a wife both of them would come with um, containers with salt and then they would mix it together and the only condition to separate them is if you can pick everyone's salt out that is the context of our fellowship with the Holy Spirit inseparable we have been brought to a point where we are supposed to be so intermingled that when you are there he is there you become an expression an extension of the power the wisdom the grace and the possibilities that are resident within the Christ please you have to understand this Jesus was born the word the logos of God but as the logos of God he could not do anything significant as far as the revelation of his father was concerned and then the Bible says when he went to be baptized of John as he came out of the water the Bible says and the heavens opened and the Spirit of God descended upon him in the similitude of a dove then a voice spoke and said now this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased hear ye him in other words now he has something to say hallelujah it is the Holy Spirit who is responsible for the extraordinary dimensions that are in the life of a believer I hope you know that holy men wrote as they were inspired of the Holy Ghost you have to understand this it takes the Holy Spirit to turn ordinary people into wonders it's amazing that several people seek um, to live in victory seek to walk in superior dimensions of grace and yet we ignore the ministry of this person this personality he is not um, a personality sent to men of God the Holy Ghost is not a personality sent to preachers the Bible calls him an extension of the ministry of Jesus and that when he comes into a life and a destiny his first assignment is to activate your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit that translates you from being a natural person now you are spiritual the fortitude to understand spiritual things is given unto you i have not seen one man who made impact from the standpoint of the kingdom ignoring the ministry of the holy spirit the Holy Spirit is not for the West please listen to me the Holy Spirit is not for the East the Holy Spirit is not for Europe it's not for America the Holy Spirit is not for Chinese the Holy Spirit is not for Israelites the Holy Spirit was sent as God's gift 
he is God's mantle to us released upon the saints please listen very carefully to help us walk in the ways of God please play strings for me this is very powerful he's the one responsible for making the Word of God come alive please listen Christianity is a burdensome religion without his ministry it will be a compendium of rituals that produce no life it is the Holy Spirit that quickens the understanding of a man Isaiah 11 the Bible begins to talk about the sevenfold operation of the Spirit and then verse 3 says that all of that those dimensions coordinated together will make a person of quick understanding it was Elihu that said in chapter 32 of Job and verse 8 it says but there is a spirit in man and the breath the inspiration of the Almighty can make men of understanding a depth and a dimension of spiritual comprehension that is greater than science greater than secular education hallelujah it is the Holy Spirit that makes the Word of God fruitful the Word of God is a prophetic book it can be used by anybody and interpreted in any way the Holy Spirit who is the author of Scripture is the one who is able to guide us and sequentially arrange the truth in a way that it becomes profitable for the saints attempting to study scripture outside of his ministry will produce gaps in our lives gaps of error gaps of imbalance inaccurate understanding he is the one who brings synergy to the word of god are you are you listening to what i'm saying yes the Holy Spirit is not for the Benny Hins and the Catherine Kuhlmans and the Reinhard Bonkers. No, no. The first revelation of the Holy Ghost in Scripture was not as a healer, was not as a deliverer. Hallelujah. The first revelation of the Holy Ghost was a restorer. Genesis 1 verse 1 in the beginning not from the beginning god created the heavens and the earth and theology calls it the gap theory it says now the earth was dark void formless is the hebrew word tohu wabohu chaos and confusion then the bible says and the spirit of god hovered round that means everywhere there is darkness the personality that is introduced in that darkness is the Holy Spirit. He is the master that turns darkness to light. The speakings of the word is only profitable when he is there. It was the Holy Ghost first hovering around the face of the deep. And then the rima of God came. Light be. And he saw that it was good. Hallelujah. Are we together? The Holy Spirit there is nobody intending to rise in this kingdom and live a fruitful life and walk in the experience of victory who ignores the Holy Spirit who will ever arrive no the Spirit of the Living God he is called he's not some mystery somewhere that just knocks people off their feet the Holy Spirit is a real living personality it takes a depth of hunger do you know why his personality is concealed because his ministry is to glorify jesus he conceals his personality not because he does not have one but he hides so that even though you are experiencing his ministry the face that remains in your consciousness is the christ because his assignment is to glorify the christ are, are we are we together now this is very important so just because he conceals his personality does not mean he's a bird a dove no not fire not candle he's a real personality he came upon ordinary people in the bible listen to me jesus calls 12 people and then mentors them for a period of three and a half years 
invest the spirit of God upon those people and now they began to turn their world upside down mighty things wrought by the hands of these people you do business without the Holy Spirit you are only ready to record episodes of frustration I know you will say there are secular people that excel without the Holy Ghost sit with them and hear the gaps in their life that nothing else except his presence can feel make no mistakes the Holy Ghost is the advantage in the life of the believer it is true his ministry is what several people try to look for in different ways we attempt to prosper without him we attempt to understand scripture without him men of God attempts to access genuine power without him we we attempt to to increase the spread of his investment through our lives to the nations and then we ignore him the Holy Spirit is not a song that we sing the Holy Spirit is not just a personality that shakes men to fall down look what he's done in our lives spirit lead me where my trust is without borders let me walk upon the water wherever you will call The logos of God could not do anything kingdom wise until the Spirit of God came upon the world and turned the world to Christ there is a reason why I'm telling you this let's go please to Acts chapter 8 Acts chapter 8 Acts chapter 8 verse 5 verse 5 then Philip look up please evangelist Philip now went down to the city of samaria and preached christ the name of his gospel was christ the name of the message he preached was christ are we together now he preached christ there is a certain message there is a certain body of truth that is responsible for the miraculous miracles come as a confirmation i told you that the glory of god comes to prove that his patterns have been followed correctly every time the patterns of god are adhered to the glory of god is his attestation my god i'm just seeing a cloud as i just mentioned glory i just saw that that wave of the glory of god an attestation are we together now yes so the bible says that philip preached christ unto them christ as a message the person christ and then the ministry of the holy spirit backing that message the revelation of jesus christ is that not the theme of the book of revelation the bible starts by saying the revelation of jesus christ which he gave unto his servant john so the bible says that philip went down to the city of samaria and preached christ unto them verse 6 we're reading down to 8 and the people with one accord like you're paying attention to me now gave heed unto those things so there were things about christ remember the message is christ but there were things about him that were revealed and the bible says hearing and seeing the miracles which he did verse 7 for unclean spirits this is Christ being preached there are things he told them that Christ can heal that Christ can deliver that Christ can lift burdens that Christ is not a nuisance to civilization he did not just preach Christ repent the way the truth and the life no he Christ is like a book he can be open to several pages and that he showed them things about Christ unclean spirits crying with a loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them and many taken with palsies that were lame were healed verse 8 and there was great joy in that city why because he preached Christ and the Holy Ghost came because the Holy Spirit's mandate 
is to ensure that Christ is both revealed and glorified. This is his assignment. His assignment is not to make us speak in tongues. His assignment is not to give us anointing. His assignment is everything Christ. So all of the things that he does in our lives is to the end that Christ be revealed and glorified. Please say revealed and glorified. This is the theme of the Holy Spirit on earth. The Holy Spirit is not on earth to produce men of God. He's not on earth to produce business people. The Holy Spirit is concerned with the ministry of the revelation and the exaltation of the Christ. But the system by which he does that is to ensure that the saints are revealed and exalted. Hallelujah. Yes. It is in the revelation of the saints that the Christ is glorified. It's in the revelation of the Christ that the Father is glorified. This is the, the reflection principle of dominion. The father cannot glorify himself, so he invests his glory in the son. The son cannot glorify himself, so he invests in the, his glory in the church in partnership with the Holy Ghost. The saints cannot glorify themselves, so their dominion over principalities and powers here on earth, this cosmos, is how the saints are glorified. Are we blessed? The Holy Spirit is on earth today, not just to heal. Please understand this. When your knowledge of the Holy Spirit just stops at healing, deliverance, breakthrough, you will be cheated. You will not enjoy the richness of his ministry. The Holy Spirit is pro-Christ. Everything that makes for the revelation and the glorification of the Christ is his business, invited or not. So if your pain negates the opportunity to reveal Christ it is his business he becomes invited into your affairs because something about your life is robbing Christ from being glorified so he comes to find out what it is this is why deliverance he comes to eject the, deliverance is not the casting out of demons necessarily it is the separation between you and the obstacle that obstructs the revelation and the glorification of the Christ in and through your life do you understand what I'm saying? So that when you are now healed, when you are now delivered, when God prospers you, it in itself is a means to an end. The end is that Christ be glorified. Are we together? Yes. So the manifold wonders that God walks in and through our lives and that he will do tonight is all together like the ingredients of a meal to one end and to one purpose that Christ be revealed and Christ be glorified Mark chapter 1 please take it high for me Mark chapter 1 let's start from verse 21 be patient with me we're about to pray such great power in this place Mark 1 verse 21 please now please look up this is a very interesting um, expression of, of, of Mark's account of the ministry of Jesus the Bible says and they went into Capernaum and straightway watch this on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught this is Jesus the Christ of God now next verse and they were astonished why because he did not just preach as jesus the carpenter's son now he's in partnership with the spirit of god and they were astonished at his doctrine for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes i can tell you the difference between jesus and the scribes is not eloquence because those people were brilliant people they were not daft there was a dimension of authority and investment of heaven upon him that made them to wonder at his communication then the Bible says and there was in their synagogue watch this notice that everywhere Christ is revealed there will always be an evidence of his presence the Bible says we there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit and he cried out saying let us alone what have we to do with thee thou Jesus of Nazareth art thou come to destroy us I know who I know thee who thou art 
the holy one of god 25 jesus rebuked him saying hold your peace and come out of him 26 and when the unclean spirit had torn him he cried out with a loud voice and came out of him 27 and they were all amazed now please look up in so much that they question among themselves saying what thing is this what new doctrine is this for with authority commanded he even the unclean spirit and they obey him 28 now watch this immediately remember i told you the assignment of the holy spirit is to reveal christ and exalt him look what happened immediately his fame his fame spread abroad throughout all the region you know that you are under the influence of the spirit because everything that proceeds from you more than promoting you spreads the fame and the influence of the christ this is one of the ways you can judge the operation of spirits the spirit of discernment works based on the reference of the revelation of the christ that every spirit that is not sourced from god cannot intentionally reveal the christ there will be an absence of the sustainable revelation of the christ are we together so number one we see that his fame spread abroad christ at work through the word and then produces dimensions of miracles are we together now and as a result his fame spread abroad next verse the bible says 29 and forthwith when they were come out of the synagogue they entered into the house of simon and andrew with james and john 30 and simon's wife's mother was lay sick of a fever and anon they tell him of her be patient with me and he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up and immediately the fever left her and she ministered unto them uh-huh and at evening like it is now the bible says when the sun did set they brought unto him why because they had now seen that this man is truly the christ of god he has become a center every time we want to see the closest expression of god we will come to him are we together now the bible says they brought unto him all that were diseased and them that were possessed with devils 33 and all the city was gathered together at the door the holy spirit will always allow that because it will lead to the revelation of the christ please do not forget my message when your ministry is centered on miracles you will not do much surprisingly when your ministry is centered on anointing you may not do much when your ministry is centered on good teaching you may not do much it must be centered on the revelation and the exaltation of the christ every other thing comes as a tool to provide and make for that efficiency are we together the bible says he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak why because they knew him 35 and in the morning rising up a great while before day he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed 36 and 37 is a very powerful message for us and simon and all they that were with him followed after him keep that scripture interesting communication all they that were with him continued to follow after him because he was being revealed when christ is revealed it makes them that are already with him to find reason to continue to press the bible says even those who were already with him they still followed are we together christ revealed that you have been in the faith 20 years 30 years and because of the unfolding of the wonder working power the reality of christ through the ministry of the holy spirit it sponsors the stamina to continue are we together now it's one thing to start your walk with christ but if you do not see the reality of the glory of god manifest through your life over time it can impede your 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 press towards the things of god 37 it says and when they had found him finally this is what the holy ghost always wanted they said unto him all men 
all nations all territories seek for thee it started with his fame going abroad then those who were with him the staying power every time we gather like this it is because of this threefold ministry number one that we seek to see Christ lifted glorified praise the Lord and then number two that we who by his grace have been kept by the power of his word will find a reason to continue to press him listen God did not just ask us to believe in his goodness we can taste and see that the Lord is good there is an experience to the dimension of the kingdom he says the things that we have seen the things that we have heard the things that our hands have handled even of the word of life that is what we communicate so we speak from a standpoint of conviction not teaching cunningly devised fables are we together and then finally in spite of the arrogance of the nations that we will drive that all men feel my heart till all they see is you Lord glorified Listen, dear brothers and sisters, this is all we are about. This is everything. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a summarization of our passion. That while we teach, while he uses us to heal the sick and turn lives around. So this is why we do the things that we have done. And we continue to do. We are gathered tonight not just to see men who are wonder walkers in as much as he grants us the privilege of partaking of the blessings of being used by him the ultimate desire of the father is that the son revealed and glorified hallelujah and so tonight as he heals as he delivers as he turns your captivity it says when the lord turn again the captivity of zion listen one of the ways i know to attract heavy dimensions of the presence and the power of god is to be committed to see christ revealed in and through your life more than fasting more than prayer more than bible study a determination to see that christ revealed is revealed through your life John 17 and verse 1, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy son, that thy son may bring glory to you. So if it takes healing to glorify the son, the Holy Ghost will do it in a hurry. If it will take bringing speed and restoration for the son to be glorified, he will do it in a hurry. It is a powerful secret of the anointing. It's a powerful secret of the workings of God. Look the details that the Spirit, please be sensitive, my God. I'm seeing a lot of angelic activities here. Just the ministry of angels. Why? Because they attend unto His Word. Feel my life till all they see. He is you, Lord. Believe it. 
So the Holy Spirit takes advantage of the Word of God and uses the Word as a tray to transport the realities of the kingdom into the saints. Everything that makes for your glorification to the end that the Christ be glorified, the Holy Spirit is more than willing. So it's not just God heal me is God be glorified through my life and then your healing becomes a medium for the Christ being glorified your speed your restoration your deliverance now becomes a basis for the Christ to be glorified listen you know you are glorifying the Christ when the more they see you the more they see him in a strange way the more they look at you and the wonder working power of God through your life you begin to fade out of the way and Christ listen the Bible says in revelations watch this when you read from verse 7 down to 12 the Bible says I heard a voice and when I turned I saw seven lampstands as I looked at the lampstands I saw one in the midst of the lampstand. The lampstand is a church. That means when they look at your life, when they analyze your testimony, your business, your ministry, somewhere in that lampstand, they should see one who looks like the Son of Man. That he has to be the reason for my lifting. He has to be the reason for my continuity. He has to be the reason for the power, the grace, the wisdom, the effulgence of heaven at work in my life. Christ revealed, Christ glorified, Christ exalted, Christ revealed, Christ glorified, Christ exalted. Listen, prosperity then becomes a vehicle that sponsors the efficient revelation and the glorification of the Christ. And the Bible says, he that did not spare his son, and he offered him freely he said how much more how much more will he will he all things he's not withholding but the only condition is will christ be glorified everyone who is committed to the revelation and the glorification of the christ must become a wonder must become a wonder must become a wonder must become a wonder so your life becomes a compendium of the wonder walking please help that lady the wonder walking power of the spirit hallelujah we are here gathered tonight to see Christ lifted this is why we are here thank God for Joshua Selman thank God for Koinonia but we are vehicles to reveal the Christ in a in a marvelous way that brings glory to the Father To see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory.
some years ago the lord told me something he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you god's word is true he does not lie he cannot lie tonight before i begin to minister and we allow the holy spirit to bless our hearts there must be a commitment listen we live in a generation where there is an obsession for fame there is an obsession to be known we always like to be the faces behind every marvelous thing i want to be the face behind the product i want to be the face behind the miracle did you know that was the challenge of the scribes and the pharisees they were not concerned about the victory of those who received deliverance they were concerned about which face was behind it but when you do business with god you are not ashamed to decrease so that he will increase the strange thing is that the more you decrease the more you are seen it's a mystery that you are seen most when you allow him to be seen most sincerely believe me what i shared with you tonight is a powerful secret lord i want you to prosper me so that the gospel will find expression it is not just to build houses how many can you build it's not just to acquire cars and properties and make a name to be a millionaire and a billionaire thank god for all of those things but they are profitless if the purpose of the revelation of the christ is not connected to them you give value to your pursuit on earth when you connect it to the revelation of the christ everything is valueless its value is only derived from the degree of that activity how it affects the revelation of the christ your marriage is useless until there is a space in it for christ to be glorified your business is useless until there is a space in it for christ to be glorified your money is absolutely useless until there is a space in it your healing can be useless if there is no space every healing in the bible wrought by the christ had a message behind it signs and wonders are the workings of god with messages behind them you have not been blessed if all you receive is the miracle alone you must also receive the message when he heals there is a message when blind eyes open there is a message like our there auntie that came and got up from the wheelchair there is a message it is not about being an anointed man who took somebody from the wheelchair that's not the message the message is the possibilities that christ can rot you have to get this yes you do not ignore the vessels that are used but more than acknowledging the vessels we'll see you high and lifted up shining in the light of your glory When this becomes your posture, he will lose the loins of kings for your sake. He will veto every limitation, crumble gates, break them to ashes and allow your passage because you are determined. Let me tell you this. Not everyone thinks God is a big deal. Not everyone thinks that um, God deserves their life, that he will use their life as a trophy to reveal Christ. So when he finds a man, he he invests his jealousy upon that man and protects that man that ministry that business there is an appetite to be known apostle joshua selman the great man of god thank god for that it's not to downplay your confidence in the christ the Bible says in Philemon 1 and verse 6 that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ. So it is not the downplaying of the investment of the Spirit upon your life. However, that you realize that you are a door 
to lead men somewhere and you have not succeeded till you get them to his presence his fame spread around the city then those who were with him it is my desire more than the miracles that will happen tonight more than all the testimonies you've heard especially for those of you who are coming for the first time that by the time we're wrapping up tonight's service you will not only celebrate miracles signs wonders deliverances you will not just stand and be amazed at a man but that in the midst of this lampstand as you look you will see christ that something about your hunger for god will be recycled again that you sit down and say look something i i my, my drive and my hunger my determination to love him my determination to stay to stay to stay with him this becomes the greatest achievement for this miracle service and i can tell you this when we get our bearings right there is no power there is no yoke of darkness that sustains the intelligence to survive this kind of revelation because this is the central revelation that coordinates the power the might of god when god moves in the midst of his people he reveals his love but he also reveals his power it is his divine power that gives us our faith connects us to his divine power are we blessed so take your eyes for one minute away from all the challenges and the requests that you wrote i know that many of us like our dear auntie and mother here you can imagine the testimony of that dear woman a death sentence many of us are standing weary wondering can god make a way in the wilderness let me tell you this don't get used to your pain lift up your eyes to jesus and then you will find out that when all things that surrounds me become shadows in the light of you that's the part of the song that blesses me that the more you look at him the more everything that looks real suddenly begins to fade that sickness it was Benny Hinn that said he noticed that people who focused on their sicknesses their pain their challenges they hardly receive that when he is able to direct their attention to the Christ like that brazen serpent when he is lifted and your attention is on him you will suddenly turn and find out that the delay is gone you will turn and find out that the pain is gone find out that the cancer the yoke is gone suddenly you will find out that you can move your limbs without using an aid lift your voice in one minute and say lord i desire that my life reflect your glory koinonia pray as you bless my life as you anoint me as i interact with graces as i interact with mantles as i fellowship with the mysteries of the spirit my desire remains the revelation of the christ
listen please just one last prayer you're going to pray I'm telling you the power of God is so strong in this place listen I want you to insist father I've committed my life to revealing your glory therefore every planting that is not of the Christ must leave health wise must lead in the area of finances lift your voice release your faith the righteousness of faith speaks on this wise release your faith i decree and declare that the egyptians that i see today I see them no more forever. I decree and declare that the mountains that stand before Zerubbabel shall become a playground at the shout of grace, grace. the spirit of delay I command the spirit of delay I'm praying now I'm seeing the anointing of the spirit breaking chains of delay now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare now every chain of delay inside outside overflow one two three four five from any nation you're connected I declare delay be broken be broken. Hey, Papa, show paratata. Delay. Be broken. In the name of Jesus. That everything that has held you down. Hold on. Listen. Listen. Please bring them out. Hear me. You see, when delay operates in a man's life, believe me, the only thing that grows in your life is your age. Nothing else grows. Your wisdom your influence the prevailing power of the word of god at work in your life i decree and declare again in the name of jesus that every orchestration that represents delay in the mighty name of jesus the son of the living god i command that it leaves your life now it leaves your destiny now it leaves your family now now I want to release the grace for speed I will keep praying this prayer till it works in your life speed is real I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I declare koinonia hear me by this apostolic and prophetic grace inside and outside take the grace for speed receive that grace now I shift you by the spirit I shift you by prophecy, speed in destiny, speed in ministry, in the name of Jesus, 10 years in one month, 5 years in 2 months, in the name of Jesus. Now I want to pray, hear me, the Bible says, every tree that has not been planted by my father that means the father is not the only farmer there are other farmers that attempt to plant it says while men slept the enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat i want to pray i believe in the power of god to set free and that every spirit that is not of the christ finding expression in and around your life it's time for it to go at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and the power of the holy ghost will bring mighty deliverance unto people father thank you because you honor your word one two three shout jesus i command every devil of darkness by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus out of their lives out of their destinies inside outside i declare blotting out handwritings and ordinances the bible says that spoke against you he nailed it to his cross i declare
declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, be free now, be free now, yokes of ancestry, operations of darkness, be free now. The Lord is showing me a padlock in the realm of the spirit. I see what looks like a padlock. I declare I don't know who that is for, but everything that has been locked and is not by God, I command an opening now. I command an opening now, even by the spirit of the Lord, an opening now. Hallelujah. Please listen to me. We are going to be very, very fast tonight so that we will redeem time. Why do we minister to people as a reflection of the love of Jesus? There are people who come here with burdens, they come here with yokes, and if it is true that God is here, then their lives must show i speak to all who are in front here that everything that is not of the christ i stand as one sent by god go now out of their lives and their destinies forever <laughs> hallelujah now please listen please listen to me we are going to pray for the sick shortly but it is not every time that this happens to me but i'm seeing Two angels standing by my left and right and every time I see that happens the Lord wants me to move I I don't listen it's just to pass the rose we'll do it very quickly except God is not God that as he passes by you is a triumphant entry that everything that represents shame and reproach even by the Spirit the power of God will rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare release destinies now in the name of Jesus let it end let it end now let it end I open gates I'm seeing a door being opened I open gates now I open gates now I open gates now by the spirit and the power of God I open gates now. Shake up our roots, In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Overflow to lift your hands. The power of God is coming to you. Gate be open now. Right now. As I walk around road to road. Right now in the name of Jesus. Every planting that is not of God. Let it go now. Let it go now. Let it go now. Let it go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. My God, I'm seeing arrows all around here. I lift them now out of your life. Out of your life. Out of your life. Out of your destiny. In the name of Jesus. Out of your destiny. Sakapatus. Embreketosisikata. I know the lion, I know the lamb, I know the lion, hey, I know the lamb. Let me pray for all of you here. Do not, no, you don't have to come forward. Right where you are, I'm stretching my hands. Everything right now, the power of God is coming. Upon you take that grace, take that anointing, take that anointing right now. Kapuz Tikata, chains break now, chains break now, chains break now, chains break now, chains break now. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Overflow three, lift your hands. It's time for God to visit you. That everything that is not the planting of the Lord, it's time for it to keep it now. 
please lift your voice and begin to pray father satisfy me early with your mercy with your goodness lift your voice and pray everyone please lift your voice and pray 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 Lift your voice and pray. your voice and pray lift your voice and pray sir come hallelujah praise the lord where are you coming from, sir? Where are you coming from? Kufena Hills. Come, sir. Because I'm seeing the Lord turning your life around. What is this? How long has this been, sir? Three years. Three years. You believe that the Lord can set you free. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. As I was passing, I just saw you, and then the Lord said to minister to you, we'll pray for the sick now, but I lay my hands upon you. In the name of Jesus. Are you together? You're the wife? In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, be set free now. In the name of Jesus. And madam, hold my hands. They will not tell you you have something in your stomach. You hear me in the name of jesus i'm seeing something growing in your stomach i must pray for you in the name of jesus be set free be set free by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus we're going to pray for the sick i apologize it's it's quite dusty outside but i had to do that now please listen the ministry of healing is real the power of god is able to be extended to men to correct anomalies in their bodies why because the only platform that your spirit can use to remain effective on earth is your body the bible says a body has thou prepared the body must be prepared a body has thou prepared for me so everything that inflicts death every sickness is a process of death it is death being ministered not like death to the flesh but death is an attempt satan never brings sickness to leave it at sickness the goal is to eventually see to it that your body deteriorates to a point that your spirit can no longer live inside and then that transition happens whether or not the purposes of god have been achieved or not so the idea is not just cancer it's not just an issue on wheelchair it's an attempt to cut short your life by the ministration of death it can happen gradually for many years but you can stand upon the truth and the integrity of god's word and allow the anointing of the spirit to correct all of these things and this is what we want to do i know that there are people who have flown in from several places there are people who are standing trusting god for healing um we usually take time to lay hands and minister to people not because we have to do it but it's just a being that it's a miracle service dedicated to minister to people we do that very very quickly so this is what will happen two things at the same time um your requests 
all of your requests if you are yet to write one you can pen it down by faith but while you are doing that overflow one um two three four and two b extends to um second equa thank you wherever you are and you're trusting god for a touch of god for healing please i'd like you to move to the front the front of your various stations overflow one to your projector screen overflow two right there overflow two b you just move out a little to where the barricade is and you'll stop there overflow four to your screen and then overflow three there those connecting online from whatever nation stand believing by faith you can make your way those in the main auditorium just come stand here but now listen please listen please listen whether you are in overflow one overflow two overflow three or four if your condition please listen if your condition has to do with cancer or any death sentence death sentence please don't just come emotionally cancer particularly or any death sentence please come to the main auditorium i want to minister to you myself praise the lord god bless you quickly please come please come we'll make this very very fast the name of the lord is a strong tower the bible declares it says the righteous runs into it and they are saved i'm glad and honored that we have mighty servants of god in our midst and together as ministers of the gospel we we'll just release our faith to see to it that the power of god is extended to us praise the lord hallelujah amen please whilst you are standing just stand believing in the name of jesus hallelujah the bible says that the people gathered they came to hear and to be healed you have heard the word of god and faith has risen as hands are laid upon you i want you to believe by faith we are operating under a corporate grace a corporate anointing father we decree and we declare even by the spirit of god that as we minister to the sick let your power let the miracle working power of jesus move so mightily in our midst in the name of jesus heal the sick turn our lives around in jesus name i pray amen and amen hallelujah so as the worship team leads us through that session of worship please i like for your faith to be released we just minister under the corporate anointing and for those of you here who are in ministry you can stand by faith receiving and believing for that grace to see the deposit of the spirit find expression while that is happening hold on please you're going to see officials moving around with baskets do well to drop your request if you have to once they wave their hands towards you do well to drop the requests praise the lord hallelujah thank you father yes please if you are yet to submit you're yet to submit your request you can do so quickly if you're yet to submit your prayer request just wave it and someone will come and pick it right now those who are connecting please there are people there there should be someone picking it up just wave it and someone will come to pick it right now the bible says unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come this is a representation of your faith it's a token it's an expression of your faith there are people down please those following online just stretch your hands release your faith some of you have sent them believe that the god of heaven i cannot begin to tell you the kinds of testimonies that have come out we may not have the time to prophesy to everybody individually may not have time to minister to everybody but this is a representation of your desire the bible says be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication it says with thanksgiving it says let your request be made known god wants to know what your request is hallelujah praise the lord and our request in one minute can you just stretch your hands to this and speak over it how forcible are right words the bible says in the name of jesus pray prophesy now those of you who are still being ministered to you just focus as the men of god minister to you but then we're stretching our hands and we're trusting for miracles please if there are still people it's important that we have the requests here 
in the name of Jesus I like you to stretch your hands and declare Lord these Egyptians I see today in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I see them no more forever is someone praying stretch your hands Shalabaruza siaka paruza zik ende prato salagada bradagada bosh shkabarato sabrande geparusia tabaladaba in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we release the spirit of faith we decree and declare in the name of Jesus the workings of miracles supernatural testimonies by the power of the Holy Ghost from nation to nation from state to state from territory to territory we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev in the name of Jesus turn situations around we declare by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah in the name of Jesus agree with me in the name of Jesus Amen. and the Apostle says Lord behold their threatenings and we pray that you stretch forth your hands and you grant that miracle signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your Holy Son Amen. he said behold their threatenings respond to their threatenings by stretching forth your hands and that miracles and signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son father we decree and declare these are issues that have threatened the liberty of the saints they have robbed you of glory and lord we bring them under judgment in the name of jesus and lord i stand in agreement with every grace within this house and we decree and prophesy that these Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus you see them no more forever these Egyptians you see today in the name of Jesus you see them no more forever my Bible says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion he said we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and they said among the hidden the Lord had done great things for us he says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then he says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south we decree and declare that everything that represents captivity here let it be turned like the streams of the south The Bible says, have you heard of this proverb before that a nation be born in one day? But then it says, as soon as Zion travails, it says she shall put forth her son. I declare speed to every request here. <laughs> Prophet Joel speaking by the spirit said, and I will restore the years. Let me tell you this real dominion is dominion over time. No matter what you dominate, if you do not dominate time, you are not walking in dominion. And I will restore the years. Many of us, we've wasted time, we've wasted opportunities. In the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, I pray for you. Listen, every time we, we wrap up these meetings with impartations, it is not a ceremony not many people are really sick not many people are really oppressed but the challenge with many believers is that we may sustain the knowledge but we do not sustain the grace that provides for the possibilities that we desire the bible says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you the key to sufficiency is sustaining the requisite level of grace there is a grace that controls speed there is a grace that controls favor you can be hard working but it does not mean you have favor 
the bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning it takes agility to wake up in the morning and then to sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow but the bible says he gives his beloved rest he can bring his beloved into sabbaths hallelujah yes there is a grace that compels the helpers of your destiny to find you just because they were ordained to help you does not mean they will find you no the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon hallelujah we desire all kinds of favors we desire all kinds of liftings and let me tell you sincerely these things are not in heaven they've left long from the foundations of the earth the bible lets us know that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places routed through the christ it will take understanding of his systems to make these things become real in our lives and the possibilities in the life of a believer please hear this we're wrapping up is governed by three things number one is governed by your understanding of the ways of god the methodologies of god as it makes for that issue of concern every need in the kingdom has a requisite level of spiritual understanding colossians 1 verse 9 that we be filled with the knowledge of his will that we be filled with all wisdom and with spiritual understanding so everything we desire there is a requisite level of spiritual understanding that sponsors that possibility number two having obtained the understanding you will need the grace the empowerment that causes you to walk in the experience of that which you now know hallelujah and so paul is saying god is able it is within his ability the bible says do not withhold good from him that is due when it is within your power it is within the power of god to lift it is within the power of god to restore listen to me it is within the power of god to bless to open doors but there are graces that control it thou anointest my head with oil my cup he does not anoint your cup you know what is on your head by looking at your cup if your head is anointed your cup will prove it thou anointest my head with oil my ministry overflows you anoint my head with oil my finances overflow you anoint my head with oil favor overflows so the real problem for many people is a correct understanding of impartation impartation is not anointing with oil impartation is not even falling down impartation is a spiritual system by which the possibilities of the spirit are transferred is the transference of spiritual possibilities and the thing the operation of god's grace in the life of a man the anointing the engracing if it is there it is there if it's not there it's not there it's as simple as that if it is there it will speak immediately hallelujah so it is possible that you walk out of this meeting tonight with a dimension of grace you did not come with and you will know by the results that begin to change remember our teaching that christ be revealed that christ be glorified but there is a coordination of graces the weightiness of a man in the spirit is a summation of the graces that are at work in your life when you become a a compendium of several graces then your possibilities become defined by these graces favor speed lifting access to the hearts of men there is a grace that makes a generation loyal to you it takes more than leadership it is a grace there is a grace that compels everything that is in your hand to multiply it's true that a woman can be frying a cara and yet build from that business it's not a cara that built it there is a grace on it that is the grace that can make five loaves and two fish to feed 5,000 people and still have 12 baskets full. Listen, please hear me. Anything you do, and I'm not stupid, believe me, I know what I'm saying. Anything you do without being empowered first is a total waste of time. Do business from the strength of the flesh and you will watch yourself 
have a plethora of frustrations it will come one after the other in successions that will frustrate you but let that investment of the spirit rest upon your life and you will watch things that should not work work the anointing of the spirit does not work generically anointings are in levels and dimensions and they limit themselves to the jurisdiction of their operation the grace for favor will not heal the sick please listen to me are we together now the grace for wisdom will not necessarily bring speed as it were so the bible says god is able to make all grace all abound towards you i like to know what graces are not at work in my life so that I pursue them with hunger, desperation, and honor. So when we are gathered like this, haven't received prayer for healing, haven't received the word, I think in my opinion that one of the most important things that you receive is a new anointing, a new dimension, either a higher level of the same grace or a new dimension of a grace that you did not have. You can have the grace that makes for productivity, but not have the grace for favor. Everything you have, you work for. That's not profitable. You will not be able to give God glory. The proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive? I have watched with shock how people have neglected graces that their destinies their ministries their businesses require and i've also watched with shock at the childlike reception that ordinary people have just come to embrace graces that turn them into signs and wonders i've shared with you again and again my testimonies that i am a product of many anointings many anointings I like to find the graces that are not at work in my life and I know them by tracing the things that look like limitations in my life I'm like a spiritual archaeologist I thank God for that which is at work but I search for that which is not at work because every grace is available it takes discernment and honor to receive hallelujah and I'm standing tonight in agreement with all the graces of the men and the women of God in this place. And if you can believe, you will be surprised. You see, I have prayed for many years and I will tell you this. You know that I love you. You are my people. I'm committed to your growth. Please listen to me. <clears throat> there is a grace I have prayed and cried to God over that it will rest upon this house in a lavish way and is the grace for favor i have seen people reproduce various graces the anointing the healing the wisdom of god but i don't know why this favor dimension <clears throat> when the favor of god comes upon your life you will stand and marvel you will wonder at how men become like robots to see to it that your destiny manifests it is the grace for favor that will call the kings of Tyre and Sidon to come and entreat your favor they will come to you with their bounties they will entreat you to receive from their benevolence it takes the grace of God everyone who lifts you has relatives in need whatever will make him leave them and come to you must be the hand of God favor accelerates destiny believe me it does it can take 10 years and put it in one year in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters that is what it means to be Beulah and Hephzibah. You become a delight. A delight. In the name of Jesus. The favor that is required in this season for the glory of the saints. I prophesy upon you. Let it rest on your life now. Ask 
access to the hearts of kings access to the resources of nobles receive that grace in the name of Jesus Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 this is the litmus test for favor if favor is at work in your life this is the proof if favor is not at work in your life this is the proof and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that when ye go ye shall not go empty emptiness has an explanation when no man arises to see you important enough for them to invest their time their credibility their reputation their resources to honor the dealings of God in your life hear me the diagnosis is that you do not sustain favor it's not yet at work in your life one more time I pray in the name of Jesus the favor that will move you and shift you to strange dimensions of grace may it rest upon you now in the name of Jesus I declare the wisdom that comes from above the wisdom the hidden wisdom of God that was ordained for the glory of the saints may that dimension of wisdom be made manifest in your life from tonight yeah. hallelujah the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness it says therefore even God thy God hath anointed you with an oil called the oil of gladness and it says that oil sets you above your fellows the grace that distinguishes you in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you yes. hallelujah the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon not God the king a king can send for you and bring you out of your situation listen listen to me the king sent for Joseph not God there are men who can help men all blessings come from God through men to men I declare the man that is ordained of God to hold your hands your ministry your business in this season and to see to it that you rise in the name of Jesus enjoy their ministry <laughs> hallelujah praise the Lord I pray for every dead vision every dead dream that which has been locked up in your spirit man but has refused to find expression I give it life right now in the name of Jesus can I pray for your family it says as for me and my house when you serve the Lord alone you are not free it must be you and your house I pray for your family members may the angel of his presence go to every family and see to it that it becomes a reflection of the glory of God <laughs> hallelujah Acts chapter 12 the Bible says on account of the gospel Peter was caught after James was beheaded and he was chained and there were guards that protected him but the church prayed earnestly the Bible says and then it says that the angel of the Lord came into the prison cell and the chains fell off on their own and he led Peter out through three gates the first gate opened him up and then the second gate opened him up and then the Bible says he came to a gate called the iron gate and when that gate opened the next thing he saw was the city there are gates that must open for you to step into your place of influence watch this it was not the first gate it was not the second gate the iron gate opened and your business found visibility the iron gate opened it says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder the gates that must be open for your influence your business your ministry to find expression I speak to it a father be open be open be open be open
in the name of Jesus hear me I prophesy to you whoever fights you goes down instantly listen the Bible says he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying that means this is the basis touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm I say it again whoever fights you goes down instantly everyone here under the sound of my voice due for promotion I stand by the God of heaven and I shift you to the next level and everyone trusting God for a job in the parable that Jesus gave they said why sittest thou idle he said no man employers immediately they got a job I declare to you by the spirit between now and the next three months like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom receive miracle testimonies hallelujah let me speak to everything dead in your life we're done he came and met the girl 12 years old dead and he said no she only sleepeth and the people laughed and he drove them out and then he held her by the hands and said talita kumi little girl i say unto you arise i speak to everything that seems dead in the name of Jesus, by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead, Harusa Barashka Baranda Sibeta, in the name of Jesus, come back to life now. Yeah. Hallelujah.